F sharp minor scale. This is the relative minor scale to A major. The scale has three sharps, the F sharp, the C sharp, and the G sharp. But of course we're going to do the harmonic minor, so we're going to add another black note in there too. As far as the fingering goes, this is different because we're starting on a black note. We're not starting on a white note. In the right hand, we're going to start on the middle finger. Let's come here. The fourth finger plays the G sharp, the only note it plays. Thumb on the A and the D. Then we're going to play an E sharp to the F sharp. It's an E sharp, not an F. It's an E sharp. Take my word for it. So the third and fourth fingers are playing the two black notes together. Just remember the fourth finger plays that G sharp. on the F sharp. <laughs> For the left hand, the fourth finger plays the F sharp, starts it off, and it's not just a starting finger this time, it actually plays the F sharp. It's the only note it plays. Correctly, anyway. Then the third thumb plays the B and the E sharp. turnaround finger is the fourth finger. Don't get lazy and try and just use the second finger because it's handy. Use that fourth finger to turn around on. Okay, this is a little different. The hands don't really seem to want to go together very well. Because you're starting out on both of these. Right? Both middle fingers play the C sharp, that's about it. You have to work this out carefully. One handed for a while at a time, you have to, whatever. Because uh, it's just going to take a little time to get it. Especially when you get into contrary motion, because now they're totally different. Contrary, they're just each doing its own thing. This is why I say if you can play these scales in contrary motion, you can play the scales. Uh, especially this one, because this is a little trickier. But it's an important scale, so let's do this. If you're a beginner, one octave up and down, you're probably not even playing this scale if you're a beginner, but if you are, one octave up and down. An intermediate student, one octave up and down, one note per beat, and then two octaves up and down, two notes per beat. Remember to accent on the beat and clap your wrist on every accent. If you're an advanced student, well, good luck. Do it this way. I am starting. Okay. I am going to start this on the next to the bottom F sharp on the piano. Here, the bottom F sharp is here. I'm going to start here. It makes me go up kind of high, but the notes up high are easier to hear than the notes down low. At least for me, they are. You can start it down there if you wanted to, I suppose. I don't know. But I'm going to start here. All right, here we go. <clears throat>
shot of whiskey on that one. Good grief. 